my god okay good morning from me and boo so uh today's valentine's day and i'm vlogging today because i'm actually gonna leave the house once i shower don't worry so this is what i did this morning um <laughs> it's a little valentine's day i mean there's literally nothing you guys like in this bag i forgot to get him something and we kind of decided anyway like that we weren't going to get each other anything because we're just gonna have a low-key one because we don't need anything so I, it's just like candy and a dollar tree um card in there and a dollar tree bear in there and what else oh and just like it's just candy like literally a dollar candy so anyway actually this stuff he he bought me like a few days ago <laughs> So I just put it back out and I put all these I love these I use these literally every year and even though they're a dollar I save them because I love them so much and I just scatter them and then these are like he bought me these too So he's gonna laugh when he sees these because <laughs> he bought me like the paper hearts and this back this bucket and okay You know what I mean? So Anyway, I just set that up. It's just so easy, you know, like even if you're not doing anything It's just so easy to put something out Anyway, I just thought that was cute And then boo come here freaking weirdo he gets like literally he goes nuts he gets his zoomies in the morning he's just insane so look at but look at his collar for valentine's day he's wearing pink he's so cute he's literally been going insane like psychotic lately i just can't stand it i'm gonna shower um and then i'm going to the dollar tree again because um i hate to admit this on camera but it's my dad's 50th birthday well it's okay it's not till the 20th but um, we're going out to eat tomorrow, like, because he's going on vacation, so, which I was supposed to be going on too, but I, I want to, like, bring it to the dinner because he's going to be gone after that, like, he's leaving on the 16th or something, so I wanted to put together, like, a funny 50th because it's, it's a big deal, but then I also need to get him something. I haven't gotten him anything, so I'm thinking, like, shoes or whatever. I'm going to go to the mall today, I'm um, going to Dollar Tree, and then um I, we might have to go grocery shopping i hope not it's gonna be such a busy day um and then later i have like a team call which it sounds like i'm in a fucking pyramid scheme but um i had a team call for a class that i'm in <laughs> and maybe that's not a good sign that all of us were totally available all, all day today for valentine's day in the group <laughs> um i don't know what that says about everybody else but it definitely says something about me so hmm Oh, yeah, yeah. So, anyway. And I think my mom's coming over to drop something off or something. So, okay. Whoosh. Got it. Okay. Hey, Boo. He's so cute. <gasps> Thank you. Oh, my God. So, um, I thought Jarvis was coming home. So, I was, like, I got, like, literally was rushing around to put all that Valentine's Day stuff, like, on the counter. And I forgot that he goes straight to school from work. <laughs> so I'm an idiot. But I'm going to do my makeup today because I have not done my makeup on camera in a hot New York minute. New York minute. So we're going to do that today. But um, these are my extensions. People still ask me even though they're linked in the description at all times. But they're the Bellamy Bel Air. They're kind of like a halo. And I gotta say, my hair has never looked better. Like, I get a lot of compliments, especially from my mom, who's the only person that sees me. But, um, and I look back at pictures of myself, I'm like, wow, my extensions look really good now. Okay, so, but look how long my, my real hair is getting. Because I really haven't been doing anything to it. That's pretty long. And for like a, a bleach blonde, I'm like really getting it to grow. Look at that. Wow. I'm like pretty proud. And it's, it feels like kind of thick too. I've always had kind of thin hair, but it feels like kind of thick. Sometimes I actually wear it. I've never done this. I haven't done this since high school because I didn't know what extensions were. But I actually started to... Um, wear it like sometimes I'll just go out and I'll just like leave it down oh I'm rebellious so you know how I've been complaining like all I do is complain um about like not really liking makeup anymore and not like enjoying it that much anymore well I figured out the secret what I think to be is the secret to like 
getting, I don't know, getting back into it, I guess. I don't know. Because yesterday, on the same day, I watched a, um, a Carly Bible video. And she was just doing, like, a regular old, like, Valentine's Day makeup look. And I don't know what it was about it. She was using, like, drugstore products. And I was just, like, mesmerized. And she was, like, one of the people that I really, like... She taught me how to do makeup because I learned like solely on how to do makeup on YouTube. Um, I learned like from when Lauren Curtis used to make a lot of videos on makeup. But yeah, I watched like Lauren Curtis. Like I really learned from her. I used to love the way she did her makeup and I still do. But um, she used to do like uh, like cl going clubbing makeup and I literally learned how to do foundation from her. Um, and like my eyeshadow, I used to do this one tutorial that she always used to do. Or it was like her prom makeup tutorial and I always used to do that just for like every day. And when I used to wear it to Sephora because that, that's when I really started like watching a lot of videos. So I, I actually like used to do that every day for work. The same makeup tutorial from Lauren Curtis. Um, ooh, I got this in our boxy charm this month. So I'm going to use this. I actually really like it. It's kind of like li more liquidy than I thought it would be. But I really like it. It's like super good. And I know a lot of people talk about it, but it's like unlike anything I've really tried before. So anyway, um, what was I talking about? Oh, and then I also watched a, a Jaclyn Hill. Like she was doing like a snap story of her skincare. And I don't know what it is. I think it's just watching like the people that I used to watch all the time play with makeup or talk about it where I'm like ooh that really like I don't know brought back some like nostalgic vibes of I don't know of makeup and like trying testing it out trying it out so I really after I watched both of those I'm like oh I really want to go to Ulta especially after Carly Bible's video because it was like she was using like all this drugstore makeup that I really wanted to try and it reminded me of like she how she does her makeup a certain way so I wanted to do my makeup a certain way I don't know so anyway I think that it's coming back a little bit I think um, it's coming back a little bit, but this is the foundation I've been using because I don't, I don't have any like really fair foundations because I wasn't really planning on doing this whole fair thing, but I'm getting so many comments of people saying like I look better this way, which I always knew I was way too orange, but it's like, you know, when you're in that lifestyle, you just can't stop. <laughs> but, um, I like this foundation for sure, but I really want to get the like a really, really fair shade in the Marc Jacobs uh, Remarkable Foundation, which is my favorite foundation of all time. No contest. There's nothing that comes close. So I think I'm going to do that next time I'm near at Sephora. I'm going to pick one up because I, mean, I just love it and I want like a really full coverage, you know? I'm trying to do my makeup like Nikki tutorials now where she like goes over her lips. But I really like this one. And I think Carly Bible actually used this in her video yesterday. So I was like, ooh, I have that, you know? But sometimes I, if I don't exfoliate well, here's actually what I've noticed since I started doing my makeup again with like really fair skin. It's kind of like a learning curve, honestly, because you need everything to be a little bit more perfect than when you uh, were doing it with like, when I was doing it with like a self tan because the self tan hides like a lot of the redness. And like imperfections that I had um so now I really go full coverage wow I look like an actual it looks like this video is almost like I'm in black and white or something um what was I gonna say oh so I really need to go full coverage but also I've noticed that I really need to be good about exfoliating my skin because for some reason like this really pale the paleness like exasperates any uh, dryness on my face, which is just to me kind of a weird finding that I've had, but um, it's super easy to match your foundation when you're literally the, the most pale shade like skin tone ever. I wonder if it's because I'm anemic that I'm like this <laughs> um, <laughs> pale. I probably don't need any more, but I'm just going to cover up this redness right here. So yeah, I've actually, you know, it's kind of funny too, now that I'm really pale. I know maybe some people don't care, but I think other people do. Um, I've had to start using different products. Like, uh, what am I talking about? Like different, I've just had to use like totally different bronzer, totally different contour. Um, literally changed everything because it's just a different, like it's such a different shade of skin. Like that's how much I was self tanning before. I mean, not to say I won't again, because I definitely feel, like, kind of skinnier if I self-tan, <laughs> but 
Um, it's good, kind of nice, just no upkeep. My, my foundation definitely looks like a lot better in relation to, I don't look like orange anymore. And I don't get that comment anymore, like, oh my god, you're so orange. <laughs> Not that I care about comments, I really don't, you know? Okay, so anyway, I really want to go to Ulta too today. I think I will. And I think I'll stop at Trader Joe's too. I have so many places I need to go, oh my god. And this is going to be a really long video, but it's like, you know what? I don't care anymore, you know? I do not care. So, I'm gonna do my nose contour like Carly Bible. Because I wanna be her. She's just like the most beautiful, like, person, you know what I mean? Wow, okay. <laughs> um, hmm. Oh, by the way, update on these things, these Jaclyn Hill things. Speaking of Jaclyn Hill. Um, I love them. I literally freaking love them. They're just, they're amazing. If you don't have one, you need to get one. Because they're just like the best way to keep your brushes. They're just so nice, you know? Okay, this is really dark. I don't know. I actually haven't been using, speaking of like not uh, using different products, I actually use this when I'm a little bit tanner. So this is like kind of way too dark, like actually. Um, hmm. Fudge. Okay, I'm gonna have to like really use a lot of concealer to cover this up now. Bad idea, bad idea, abort. This is what I've been using and I just, this is actually, I just bought a new one. Um, I've been using the Makeup Revolution concealer. I have been using this for probably like four or five months now and I just I love it it's just a cheap they have so many different shades they literally have one that's even whiter than this which I actually probably should be using to, if I'm being really honest with myself but I love it it's just it's just a really good concealer in my opinion Everybody wants something they can have, so they gonna put it on you Okay, next, I've been using this a lot, but actually I'm gonna use this one today. I've been using the Glossier, so like, talk about different products. I actually haven't been using this one, but I kind of like the way it looks with my pale skin. And for Valentine's Day, you know. Oh my God, I was so frustrated because I weighed myself the other day. So I bought like a scale a long time ago. I don't know what happened, but, um, so I had a doctor appointment the other day, like I always have them, you know, but I was so pissed. Hold on, what was I? Oh, I've been using this, the Iconic London Drops. Um, yeah, so I was so pissed because I had a doctor appointment and in the morning I was feeling good. I like weighed myself, right? And it was like early in the morning, of course, like I was about to take a shower. So I got in the shower, weighed myself um, and I was like lowest weight I've been in a really long time. So I was like woohoo like you who right so of course so then um what, what happened after? oh i get to my appointment i get on the scale literally five pounds more than what my home scale said and i was like technically it looked like i had gained weight uh in comparison to the like the last time i had been there it looked like i had gained like two pounds since I last time I was at my doctor appointment and I literally it like literally ruined my day usually what I'll do Honestly, this is what I do and don't be afraid to ask this if you're like the same way I used to like go to my doctor appointments and be like just don't tell me like just don't tell me like what I weigh because I didn't want to know Because um, I didn't want it to ruin my day <laughs> honestly, so I've been doing that, but then I kind of was like, oh, you know, I, I saw my home skill. I'm like wow I lost some weight like I would love to see like the what I you know how much I weigh I could not believe what the scale said so then I, I literally looked it up and I guess like here here's the thing I think it's best to go by your home scale what you always weigh yourself on and kind of judge that way because I also read that and if you work in a doctor's office let me know but I read that they don't really calibrate their scales that often like 
because that would mean that they would have to hire somebody to come in and calibrate their scale and a lot of doctors like just don't want to pay for that um and for like a lot like nurses like that's just not in their um like pay grade you know so anyway i mean i guess i felt like a little bit better after reading that but it was still like how do i weigh five extra pounds at the doctor's scale which is like and I was like, am I, am I clothes weight? Like, are they really heavy? I'm, am I wearing heavy shoes? Like, I was so upset. Like, so upset. Honestly, though, speaking of weight, there's like a point when, like, the first time you start worrying about weight is like, it's, it's over with. Like, you worry about your weight then for the rest of your life. I actually was pretty lucky and I didn't really think about my weight because I, I like didn't really know what was going on. Like, I was kind of, like, in my own world in high school. Like, I can't really remember a whole lot about high school, um, to be honest with you. And not, like, because I was doing drugs. It's because, like, I just, I don't know what I was doing. I think I was, like, on autopilot. Just try, I was in, like, survival mode, I think. <laughs> but, um, I, so I didn't really worry about it in high school. I was always, like, playing soccer and stuff. But then I got to college and I started, like, drinking, you know. And then I started gaining weight for the first time like oh like i then i was like really like not looking good so then ever since college i've literally never stopped thinking about weight it's like once you start you cannot stop i'm not kidding it's just off it's like an awful cycle you know what i mean it's just not fair life's just not fair especially like with weight i just hate it if i didn't show you that was the Too faced powder and i used to use the morphe sponge but i hate the morphe sponge you guys i hate it I don't know what the problem is, but I just ugh, I hate it. I don't like it. I don't. I think a lot of people like that sponge, but to me, it's just like it's way too hard. It doesn't blend out very well. It's like, why does this not blend? Like, isn't that what it's supposed to do? Did I tell you what classes I'm in, you guys? I'm in a um. Uh, one of the classes. The other classes you guys would not care about at all, but um, I'm in a. It just started. It's called Health and Humor. And it's all about like, um, <laughs> it's all about like funny jokes. Literally, it's just about like funny. All we do is like watch funny videos and like look up statistics about like related to laughing and how it can affect your health and stuff. And I, I love the class already. Like, I love it. He just like has all these links. It's just like a really funny like older guy who's like retired and he teaches the class now. He literally created the class and I literally, I love it because he's such a goof that like you laugh anyway, you know? So yeah, I really like it. It's just, it's just fun. And like, I can see like the upcoming modules <laughs> and he has like all these like, he's like, James Franco getting roasted clip. It's just, I don't know, it's just funny. So, um. <sighs> okay, that was my mailman. He is the nicest guy ever. He is the nicest guy ever. Um, except one of my packages got returned back to me because the address. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I don't know. Why am I out of breath? That's not good. <laughs> That's a major health concern right there. Eyebrows done. I'm gonna use this Charlotte Tilbury uh, palette right here. Just contour a little bit. This is what I do to contour my nose. I take like one of these brushes and then I just kind of dip it in. Dip it in. And I contour like that. Did I tell you guys that I'm literally at war with, not with my apartment complex, but with the trash people so okay let me explain so i love this apartment complex like the management is so good like they're just really haven't had a problem like the last you know how the last place was hell this place is everything that it the last place wasn't um like great people great management they're on top of everything like they apologize if something wasn't up to par even though 
I don't even notice if something's not up to par, you know what I'm saying? So they're just really, really good. So except, you know, and I think you pay more. If you pay more, you get more kind of thing. But, um, but, 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 um, here's the problem. And I haven't liked this since I started, but it's, we have a trash, valet trash, right? And it costs $25 a month extra, which is usually like, I just think that's kind of steep. I don't know what. Here's why I think it's steep. Because we only get our trash picked up like four days of the week. And it's a very annoying process that I have always had an issue with. And other people have had issues with it. So, so here's how it works. On Monday through Thursday, um, they come and get our trash. Or no, Sunday through Thursday. Um, but we have a two hour window that we can put our trash out and it has to be like very specifically put out there. So between the hours of six and eight, it has to be outside on our front porch, right? And it has to be in our garbage bins and it can't just be like sitting out like in just in the bag. It has to be in the garbage bin. Otherwise they will give you a notice on your door that you're not doing it right and that they're going to find you or something. I don't know. Um, or like stop doing the the trash service for you so basically um and it's annoying too because it's like here's here here's what's annoying about like the schedule of it um i feel like we pay 25 dollars for them to come like basically four days a week because from thursday night they come and get our trash but then like thursday night on so thursday at 8 p.m on we have our trash sitting in our house like the most time that you're going to be in your house is like the weekends and stuff like that. So the trash just piles up and nobody comes to get it till Sunday night. So Thursday night to Sunday night, that is so long until somebody comes and gets our trash. And it just piles up in our closet, um, like our garbage closet. So it's like, and it's just like fucking, you know, obviously trash smells and it's disgusting and we have nowhere to put it. And like, there's no... Um, compactor basically to like bring our garbage so there's nowhere to bring it like we just have to keep it in our house so you know i wish that somebody would they would have staggered it like oh they come on saturday night but they can have like thursday night off or something you know what i mean i or like come thursday don't don't come friday come saturday don't come sunday or something um but basically yeah so our trash just sits there and then a lot of the time they have literally a thousand days where they don't come and get it like it can literally be like national boyfriend day and they won't come and get our fucking garbage and i'm like can you please come get our garbage like i this is not a real holiday like please can you come get our garbage it's like an instagram holiday and they don't come so they have all these holidays that they take off and it's it's not even like a trash guy. It's like some guy in a truck who just comes around and takes our garbage. And all I can hear is like him slamming our garbage cans like outside. And like he's always leaving, like saying I'm not doing it right. And like the other night he left something on our, um, on our door because I just put our garbage out. I just had to put it out on the floor on the thing because our literal garbage can blew away. I don't know where it is. And it fucking blew away because he didn't put our garbage can like first of all he didn't come and he came like an hour after 8 p.m and we go to sleep really early so i didn't like i left it out all night but it's like he didn't put it like in a place where it couldn't he there's like a, a pillar that he can put it next to where it won't blow away with the wind and it was such a windy like snowy night and he could have put it there and that's where i put our garbage out at so i figured he would put it back in the same spot no he literally puts it wide out in the open and I'm frustrated. So then he leaves a notice on my door that I'm going to get, like, if I do that one more time, then, you know, he, they're going to not do my service anymore. I'm so frustrated. And then I get online just to, this added just so much fuel to my fire. So when I went to go pay my bill um, through our resident portal <laughs> or my rent, I saw like, there's like a message tab for like all the residents to say like, Hey, wine night and you know blah 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 hey did anyone get my package type of thing so all these people are like hey anyone having trouble with the garbage service nobody came and pick up picked up my garbage today nobody came and picked up my garbage today nobody came and pick. i'm like 
are you serious i seriously am frustrated because 25 dollars is a lot there's nowhere to put it i'm frustrated okay i'm frustrated and i don't know where my garbage can is it blew away <laughs> literally blew away so yeah i'm frustrated i'm frustrated that's all i can say really <sighs> anyway rant over with so this is the highlighter i've been using i have not used any other one and i don't plan on it i literally don't but Okay, here's another rant. So this is the Il Maquillage Halo Highlighter. It's the best highlighter I've ever found, right? Literally, like the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Highlighter on steroids, right? So good. So good. Like, look, looks natural, but really, like, doesn't look natural at the same time. Like, it looks good. And it really looks good on pale skin. So, anyway, I, like, talked about this in my Il Maquillage video. And I have it, obviously, because they sent it to me. But I feel like they shouldn't have sent me it because it's not on their website. Like, it's literally not for sale on their website. Because I was just checking the other day to see if it was. Because I truly didn't know people would really want to buy it that much, like, based on my recommendation. So I had all these people, like, it's not on the website. It's not on the website. My grandma, like, that's, like, the one thing she asked for for Christmas. And I was like, I, I was like, oh, I figured it's probably going to come into stock soon still i don't think it's on the website still like it's very rare that i find something you know that becomes like a staple in my routine like that and like i that i really end up like loving and that was one of the things and then they don't have it on the website i just thought it was like such a missed opportunity for them um because when i really like something it's like I really like it. I don't know. And like, I rec I'll recommend it to everybody that asks me. And it's like, I'll wear it a lot. But it's like, you can't even buy it. I don't know. I was kind of frustrated by that. But anyway. Um, oh, okay. Let me tell you this. I've been talking way too much. I'm really sorry. <sighs> okay. So for my eyeshadow, I'm not going to do any eyeshadow today. I just don't feel like it. So what I've been doing though, and I wanted to tell you guys about this. I bought these on Amazon. And they are... Um, eyeliner stamps so it's from the brand pure i don't know like what brand that is but it's a uh what's it called it's uh cruelty free uh, i just saw that on the website but it was literally like 12 bucks comes with two of them because you need a stamp for each eye and then it comes with an eyeliner on the other end but i feel like my eyeliner has looked so good if you go look at my past like three videos I feel like my eyeliner has been looking so good and it's because I'm using like a stamp so I don't know I just I think these are so good they're like really skinny and um I love them they're really hard though like to kind of get right to be honest so hold on oh, actually I did it pretty good there so I just do that and then it's a really good uh like thing on the other side it's like really really sharp look at that like it's so good i just like flick it out because it's kind of a blunt you know like a uh, wing so then I kind of like just flick it out like that to make it sharper. But look at that fucking line, dude. And it was so easy. Like to, I used to be like this, like painstakingly doing it. And I feel like that's so much easier. Hold on, let me. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It still requires like a little bit of skill, but honestly, not as much. So... And I just feel like it goes easier and it's like more even. I love it. And it's just good if you do like natural, like just a wing liner and like foundation every day. I I just have been like over the fucking moon about it. I'm I love it. I love doing my makeup every day now because I'm like, yes, I get to use my little stampy. Okay, see like I messed that up. <laughs> Fudge. I didn't put it far enough over it literally is like going straight up i mean it doesn't look that bad but i did it like kind of too high if you know what i mean and i wish that i angled it out more that way but i'm more like i'm training <laughs> so anyway i want to try this this is the new covergirl exhibitionist they sent me in very black 
I love the one. So I'm just gonna try it out. Oh my god, I didn't even put bronzer on. Oh my god, I didn't even put it on. What, am I nuts? Okay. I like that mascara. It looks, it looks pretty good. This is still my fave though. I just bought a new one. The Makeup Revolution Mascara Revolution. Okay. So, anywho. Anywho. What was I going to do? Oh, bronzer. This is my favorite one for um, fair skin, and it's been my favorite one forever now. It's the Essence Sun Club. Yeah, you can zip me All right, I'm going to go put some lipstick on and try to get this little thing off, and then I'll be back, okay? Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Um, this has been a crazy day. It's literally 2.30 2 now, and... I have already been to the car place. I was saying I was going to go drive and get my dad a birthday gift. Well, now I, w I drove straight to the car place because my my brakes don't work, as everybody knows. And somebody commented that I was going to kill somebody. So I was like, I don't really want to kill somebody. So I drove it there. Free brake inspection. And then, but they were like, oh, I can't look at it for two hours. So then I had my mom pick me up because it was going to take two hours. And she picked me up and then she already had plans to go to Panera with my grandma. So we had to rush over there because my mom's at her lunch break. Rush over to Panera, sit there for a little bit and then my grandma takes me home. And then they call me right when I get home and they say, okay, um, you need to get your master cylinder fixed, whatever the fudge that means. And now it's costing $460. He's like, don't worry, we have a $33 coupon. I'm like, oh, thank you so much. For <laughs> Herbert, look at there's no one here. You wait, you Jarvis to me, call and make a reservation. Call and make a reservation. It's gonna be bad. I'm like, no. <laughs> oh my god. Looks good. No. Yours looks like a brick. Hey boo. He's so handsome. He's so handsome, he's so cute. Whoa, I look like a bug. <laughs> Literally bug's life. <laughs> um, so, me and Jarvis are going to a doctor appointment. It's the next day. I was vlogging yesterday, and then I stopped vlogging because I got stressed out. Because <laughs> I have to pick up my car later today, but it's another busy day. Um, I have to give my dad a birthday gift still literally in time for tonight which we all meet at 4 15 for his uh birthday dinner so yay. i don't know what to get him i like i'm thinking like beats headphones or like an apple watch or shoes or wallet it's like what do you get but it's like you need to show out for his 50th birthday and my sweet boyfriend took off work no I didn't take off work. He's took off work and he hasn't gone back in since. I didn't take off work. <laughs> okay, but he's, he's taking me because I don't have a car. <gasps> oh my god, I look freaking gorgeous. Okay, we gotta go and we're stopping at Dunkin' Donuts. It's tradition. Tradish, starting today. Don't take this. Wow! Wow, so glad you have me record this drive in. This city view is amazing. Look at that city view. I, well, I wanted you to do it soon. Wow. I'm really mad. <laughs> Chicago against Amazon. Look at that sign. Wow. Wow, a true performer. Me? Here, you left your coffee. <laughs> Get the city. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. I, my bad. I almost missed it. <laughs> okay. We're home. So, um, doctor appointment was not the best because I was like feeling good today. I'm making jokes. They're all at Jarvis's expense. We love that. And then 
I go in, get my blood drawn, and like I get my blood drawn every single time, and it's like not a big deal, you know. But this time, it like she really didn't do it right, and I never had this girl draw my blood before. She didn't do a good job. So literally, my arm is in pain. Um, and then she takes my temperature, and again, like I'm feeling good today. She takes my temperature. I had like a low grade fever. I'm like, wait. <laughs> what excuse me she's like are you drinking something hot and i'm like no i literally drink sunny d only of the smooth variety so then then i go back and my blood results are in they do it really quick and my neutrophils were like the lowest they've been in five years they were i think they were like point they were like point seven which i think that the, in a, a good range is 1.5 and like a really good range is like 7.0 so I was not looking too good. So that's like really, really bad, really dangerous. And honestly, my blood has not come back like that in a long time. So I need to take my Neupogen now. And now I have to go back again the Thursday before my doctor appointment just to get my blood results. So anyway, it's fine. So I'm actually making good time today. I went to Dollar Tree. I got my dad a... Well, first I went to Walmart. I got my dad Beats headphones because... Um, I just did so I got him that I'm gonna put together his gift I got I'm doing like a really like an old person like gag gift. So I got a bunch of like This was so embarrassing to ring up, but I'm, I honestly just don't care about what anyone thinks about me anymore So I literally bought like hemorrhoid cream Antacids like just you know like all that stupid stuff. I found diabetic socks. I thought were hilarious ankle support so anyway, I'm gonna put it all together and um, and I'm, I'm putting like the beats and I'm saying they're hearing aids because they kind of look like hearing aids, but they're like, he needs really good headphones because he's always just stealing everybody else's and he likes to go on walks with my dog so like he can put them in and not have like the thing dangling. And also he's going to Phoenix tomorrow so he can bring them with him and like listen to him at the pool or you know, wherever he is. I think it's really cold there though, so. Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna put this together. Okay, here's the, um, oh shoot, I keep like having to fix this, it's like, I didn't do it very good, but, um, yeah, that's pretty much what it's looking like, so I put a bunch of this old people stuff in there, um, diabetic socks, I thought that was like the funniest find of 2019, um, I put these like hilarious, you know how like when people get old, they wear like these literal like horse goggles, like, <laughs> So I put those in there, and then I did like the 50 candles, denture cream, ankle support, antacid. I did lifesavers as a little subtle twist. Hemorrhoid cream, you gotta love it. So yeah, this is what I always do. I love to just put together stuff from the Dollar Tree like this, and then I I got I get these at Dollar Tree too. So these are just like uh, bag, like what are they called? Ooh, I don't know what they're called. Bag rib, I don't know. Bag something, I don't know. Whatever. So, I always put it around there. I just think it looks like a little bit funnier. So, yeah, I put that together. The candles gave me a little bit of a hassle, but like some of the stuff I put on these wood dowels that I bought, but I need to get that higher, but whatever. Who cares? So, this is what my medicine looks like, by the way, which I have to take um, starting tonight. But, oh, and then over here, I just want to show you. So, what I did, this is what I started doing. I, um,. I started buying bags just to, like the ones that I like sometimes I'll just look at them this is what my grandma does too I just like find bags at Dollar Tree that I really like um, and then I just buy them so like if I'm ever in a rush or something or if I have to get a last-minute birthday gift or put it together I always have bags on hand so whenever I see like really cute paper like this I always buy it and then I always get like so I had this on hand already um, so anyway, in here though, I have my beats and I put hearing aids on it, written in, um, these sticky letters. And it was, it's funny because it's like all, you know, old person themed. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's just, I thought it was really cute. I like love that idea. And like, so he'll be excited that he's actually getting at least one good gift because this is like not a good gift, you know? Um, but I think it's just kind of a cute little thing. So, oh, you're so handsome. Did you wake up? You just woke up. You're so cute. Now I'm on a little bit of a time crunch. I need to get ready and put makeup on and like kind of do my hair. I think I'll just put it in like a, my famous ponytail. He's talking to people on online. Predator. Um, 
So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'll check them with you later. Peanut butter balls and something for your dad. I want them. <laughs> they're gonna melt. Me, they'll melt, they'll melt. <laughs> no, they're melt. <laughs> the lights in the